Hey guys, this is Jam of Jamonline.ph and today we're gonna unbox and take a closer look at the Duji N10 smartphone. So this smartphone is available right now at Shopee.ph and this one is quite affordable. So why is it affordable? Well, because of the specifications. So let's talk about the specs of this smartphone. So first we got here a 5.84 inch Full HD Plus water drop display. There's a spread through SC9863A processor. It's a quad core, and sorry, it's an octa core processor. And it's from spread through and then comes with an IMG8322 GPU. There's a 3 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of internal storage, which you can expand uh, via micro SD. And then there's the 16 plus 13 megapixel rear camera. There's a rear fingerprint scanner. There's a uh, 32 gigs of internal storage. There's a 16 megapixel front camera and uh, it comes with a 3360 milliamp hours of battery and it's running on android 8.1 oreo so what are we waiting for so let's unbox and let's take a closer look at the doji n10 smartphone so guys we have here the doji n10 smartphone so let's unbox this smartphone so there we go we have here uh the smartphone and uh i have to turn this one on Okay, so a uh, very simple box. So we got here uh, the jelly case. The charger which is rated at 5 volts, 1000 milliamperes. The micro USB to USB cable. Of course the pin. The warranty card and also the manual. So what are we waiting for? So let's check out the Doji N10 smartphone. So this is the Doji or Doggy N10 smartphone. As you can see here, we got a very familiar look on the software, but we're gonna talk about that later. Let's discuss the uh, hardware and the look of the smartphone first. So inside we got here the SC9863A uh, processor. It's a spread room processor. And then uh, there's uh, one gigs, uh, three gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage. We also got here a 16 megapixel front camera. 16 plus uh, 13 megapixel uh, rear camera but uh, we will discuss that later so first let's look at the camera oh let's look at the hardware of the smartphone so as you can see here we got here a uh, notch at the top it actually reminds me of the Zenfone Max Pro M2 yeah the Max Pro M2 I was actually confused with the name because it's, I thought it's a Max M2 Pro or a Max Pro M2 anyway going back you can see here that the wallpaper is very similar to a Zen phone but we got the navigation bar of um, Samsung but uh, again we will talk about that later but first let's talk about the design so at below we got you the Doji logo um, well uh, Doji is proud that this smartphone has a 88% screen to body ratio that is pretty good considering that this is an affordable smartphone below below 5000 pesos so this one is priced at 4699 pesos not bad of course on the right we got here are uh, the uh, power button and the volume rocker at the top we got here the uh, headphone jack or the headphone port below we got here the micro usb port with the speaker grills and of course on the other side we got here uh, the card tray where you can place the, your micro uh, SD card and also your SIM cards anyway going back uh, going at the back of the smartphone yes we do have a lot of dust but uh, actually it actually reminds me of the Asus Zenfone Max Pro M2 we got here the Doji logo and as you can see here we got a lot yeah there's a lot of fingerprints this one is made up of plastic but from afar you could actually mistake it from a glass because of the reflections and all and then of course you got here the camera surprisingly there's no protruding camera in here that's what i like about it it's actually flat in here then we got these uh, a little bit of curves on the side not so much but uh, we got rounded edges that's why the smartphone is easier to hold and yes we do have a 5.84 inch display that's why the smartphone isn't that big thumbs up to that the fingerprint scan is placed over here so yeah it's ergonomically placed at the back i haven't tried it yet but uh we're gonna discuss that on uh, my review of the smartphone but yeah you can see here uh the display of the smartphone is actually vivid than i expected this one is a 5.84 inch hd plus display 19 by 9 display aspect ratio so yeah it does look good to me and uh yeah while we do have a notch at the top i don't have any problems with it except for this one so as you can see here uh we got a lot of uh, the time in here that's almost on the edge uh actually i think the uh bezel is that the bezel blocking the clock 
Yeah, I think so. So, um, they need to adjust that one. They need to adjust that one. Anyway, going back to the software. So, this is the UI of uh, the Duji N10. You can see here that uh, this one is pretty fast. You can swipe it to uh, the left and it will automatically open the Google application where you can search, check out the cards and everything. It's almost like vanilla Android. Then, of course, there's not much um, pre-installed applications in here. I mean, it's almost vanilla. Of course, we got here the call history, which is basically the phone, I believe. No, this is this is different. I'm actually confused why they have the call history and the uh, phone application in a separate app. Uh, in a separate app. Of course, we got here uh, the other Google applications. We also have here Files Go. Despite using Files Go, this one isn't running on um, Android Go. This one is actually running on Android 8.1. Okay, it's Android 8.1. Um, then of course there's uh what was this there's screen capture if you want to take videos or yeah you can take videos of uh, the display of the smartphone and yes you could actually place two sim cards for two four two 4G sim cards there's a super screenshot too so yeah you could adjust magic screenshots and everything um, and then um, we also have here um, casting and uh, anything so yeah there's a lot of uh, minimal features that that has been added on the smartphone. Then of course the settings, there's no normal settings. I mean, you can see that there's a little bit of uh, change in the UI. There's some icons in here, but uh, it's almost the same. You could actually change the navigation bar. It still does still look like a Samsung smartphone when it comes to the navigation bar. But yeah, you could adjust that one. And then of course, you could actually hide the cutouts. I'm not sure what hiding cuts are. Oh, hiding the notch. They call it the cutout, but it's actually the notch. You could actually hide the notch of the smartphone which is a plus for me i think because i actually don't like that it, it's blocking um the content at the top anyway um i hate the notch get here audio profile storage we got 32 gigs of storage but um yeah the, you could use a lot of storage in here we got 26.43 gigs free storage and we got gesture sensing uh yeah you could use gesture to control fm radio but i doubt you would use that and yeah, it's running on Android 8.1. So how about the camera of the smartphone? So let's try out the camera of the Duji N10 smartphone. So let's try out the camera of the smartphone. Camera applications, you can see here, very basic application when it comes to the camera. We got here uh, the um, aperture mode or the portrait mode, but it's actually just a radial uh, portrait mode. So yeah, nothing to see that on that one. And then, of course, we got here the HDR mode, we got here the flash, we got here the beauty mode if you want to add some, you know, um, effects. Then, of course, you could uh, switch to the video mode. There we go. Force check out the settings. You could actually record up to 1080p. It's not surprising considering that this one has 3 gigs of RAM with a spread room um, processor. I forgot the model. It's actually confusing. Then, of course, um, the encode type. You could actually uh, record it at H.265. So yeah, very basic one. So you also got here the night shot, time lapse, and of course video. So uh, let's try out the camera. Well, I actually tried out the camera. I was just kidding you guys. I mean, I've actually tried it out, and um, surprisingly, uh, it wasn't as good as I expected. Um, here's some shots that I took using the smartphone. It's actually blown out. I'm gonna turn on the auto rotate. Oh, it's already turned on. Okay, there we go. So uh, the shots aren't actually that good we got here the um, three uh, amiibos in here they didn't got the shot well that well the colors are very dark and uh, it's a little bit blown out in this part they need to optimize the camera even more another shot on this one and yes the contrast isn't that good and the saturation was just terrible another shot and again the saturation of the camera is just Terrible. They need to update this one. It's it's not uh, really that good. It's bad actually. So yeah, this one is a selfie. Surprisingly, this one is better than I expected. And yes, I look pale because of the lighting, but uh, it got most of the details and I turn off uh, the beauty mode. So yeah, for selfies, I don't think you would have a problem on this one. Uh, especially that this is an affordable smartphone. But for the rear camera, well, it isn't the best one that you can get 
on the market right now. So yeah, I guess that's it for our short hands-on of the Duji N10 smartphone. So if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, well, now's the time to subscribe. So once again, I am Jam, jamonline.ph. Thanks for watching Unboxing Hands-On of the Duji N10 smartphone. And don't forget to check out my Facebook page, Facebook groups, and other social media accounts.